Mr. Massery, did you spit on a police officer? No. No, I didn't. That was an expression that uh, we use in uh, Arabs, you know what I'm saying? Basically, it's just a sound of me being, you know, me spitting. That's not what I was actually doing. You've been charged so, with spitting uh, yeah. on a police officer, am I right? Yeah, they believe, they believe videos and they believe Twitter trolls before they actually look at evidence, but that'll get thrown out of court. That's cultural but background, do you, so do you think you're good, helping? You know? Do you think you're helping the situation if, if that's the behavior in which you're involved? Well, you know what? I don't think we should be looking at citizens about how they react towards their public servants. It should be the other way around. Now, what, I, what you saw right there was reality TV. People are pissed off about how they're getting treated in the streets and how people are getting killed. They should be looking at that besides our reaction. We have a right to be mad. Our anger is justified. So any other narrative besides that is just people getting off the subject of justice for Von Derrick Myers and Mike Brown. Other than well, that, I, I mean, there's no... I don't buy, I don't, I don't buy no into that. that. And I, I'm going to tell you who else well, I don't think... Well, it's on you if you don't buy into it or not. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because this is our community. But I don't let me tell you, from the outside to judge. Mr. Masri, let me tell you who else I think doesn't buy into it, and that's Michael Brown's father. Right, I'd, I'd like to show you, you, I'd like to okay. show you, or at least allow you to listen to what he's had to say about the situation. Roll that tape. I thank you for lifting your voices to end racial profiling and police intimidation. But hurting others or destroying property is not the answer. No matter what the grand jury decides, I do not want my son death to be in vain. Mr. Brown has, has made a plea for calm. The president has made a plea for calm. Eric Holder has made a plea for calm. And, and you're taunting police officers by calling them cowards, pigs, bitches, and quote unquote, I'm praying for your death. Aren't you, aren't you contradicting what those three gentlemen have all asked for? Well, that was October 9th. You know, and ever since then, I've been very calm. You know what I'm saying? That was just three, four minutes of me being a little bit emotional after they just killed somebody. So yeah. Maybe they're taking that a little bit out of context. I respect Mr. Brown. There ain't gonna be no violence. We're taking de-escalation courses. We've been doing our part. Anytime there's anything that goes on, the police have agitated it. They're gonna have to learn how to, to police us. We don't have to learn how to conform to them. They serve us, we don't serve them. I don't know what people get about this, where we have to bow down to police to everything that they say. We got freedom of speech in this country, and I can push it to the limit any which way I choose. If right, the police don't like you it, can't they need to change a, themselves. You can't run into a theater and shout fire either. There are limits even on free speech. You can't defame someone. I have a proposal well, you know for you. You know what? May There's also a, limit on a gun a violence, too. There's also I, limit on police killing people. Mr. Masri, and that's what I've we're got an idea for. for. We're not here for anything of what people got to say. I have an idea for you, people, sir. Getting, my... People are getting killed behind this. There's blood on the street, and you're worried about words. Come on, man. I have an idea for That's you. That's what my journalists idea are missing is... right now. Why don't you go investigate something real? Why don't you go investigate something real? I spoke my mind. I'm a citizen. Why don't you worry about us getting killed? The warrants, the extortion, the, ex the, the, the limits on the Mr. Constitution Masri, they put on us. Do you I'm worry about, about that, facts. Michael? No, you worry about what I said. No, I'm worried about I'm facts. Worried. I let know me, about facts, too. I've listened to you. And the let facts me finish have been my thought. skewered since day one. Please let me Yo, finish ahead, my bro. thought. I'm listening my to thought you. is as follows. Why not everybody catch their breath? allow this thing to run its course and then when all of the evidence that was evaluated really? by the grand jurors get put online and we can review hundreds thousands of pages of factual evidence then we catch our breath evaluate what it says and plan what our next moves will be doesn't that seem like the more prudent well, course you, well, you know what you can plan you can plan your own reaction however you want you can't tell our community how we gonna react you know what i'm saying this is our community and we're going to do what we feel now, like I've been saying, we're going to be peaceful. We've been taking de-escalation courses. We've been getting training. You know what I'm saying? So there ain't going to be no violence. Y'all are the one that are hyping this up and making it something that is not. Over a few statements that I said over a month and a half ago, three minutes of me being out of line, y'all want to characterize me as some kind of demon. And that's on y'all. I don't really care. I'm living Mr. here. Mr. Masri, what know I'm what saying, I'm sir, about. what people I'm saying is... People know all about, too. So y'all can go ahead and skew unknown. what y'all want to do. I'm going to give you my final thought and then more you can give me yours. There's more okay. unknown in this case than there is known. I don't know how you could be rooting for an yeah. outcome when you don't well, you know, know the what? evidence that was presented to the grand jury in this case. I Go know ahead, you this. get the final I word. I know this, that Darren Wilson shot six extra times and he had to. He shoots, he's supposed to shoot to apprehend. We're supposed to have preservation of life in this country, not death. Anytime they get to, they shoot somebody and they kill them the first chance they get. That's not what law enforcement is supposed to do. They're supposed to protect and serve us, not to kill us. So all that other stuff you're talking is irrelevant. 
people let me, are dying. Let me tell you what's, let me tell you what's irrelevant. I irrelevant is the testimony of someone via a television camera who wanted their moment of fame. I want to see the testimony of the witnesses under oath uh -huh. in front of that grand jury. That's what I want to see. And I want to know the police yeah. officer's account because well, we I haven't know, even I heard can, it. I can believe anyway. what I want to believe. I don't believe. I don't care what any of them got to say. I know what happened. I know that you know what happened. Darren Wilson did not have to execute anybody. Darren Wilson did not have to execute anybody. He could have shot to apprehend. He didn't have to shoot to kill. That's okay. it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I want to read the That's evidence. That's a teenager, and he was unarmed. No, Thank you, you sir. ain't got to read the evidence. He I was don't have to read the unarmed. Evidence. Okay. His hands were up. Six extra shots. You tell me who's Basim guilty. Masri. Thank you, you sir. Tell me I, who's wish guilty. I, I wish I didn't have to take a quick break, but I do.